We're here in the KJV Thompson Chain Reference Bible, revised and updated edition from Zondervan. Thompson Chain, introduction and explanation of how to use it. Very clear at the top, 8,000 topical listings and 100,000 marginal references. That, in a nutshell, is the Thompson Chain. The 8,000 topics, the 100,000 marginal references. And we see quickly, the, this Bible is the most unique and complete topical reference Bible in print. The Thompson Chain Reference Study System, which enables the student to follow a single biblical topic from Genesis to Revelation, provides the foundation for this monumental work. More than 8,000 topical listings are found in the alphabetical index of topics, which begins on page 1506. We also know that from the comprehensive Bible helps here, here on the left-hand page. And almost any idea imaginable, biblical, devotional, or contemporary, can be studied. The almost 100,000 marginal references enable the student to quickly discover the primary concepts of any biblical passage. The many study tools in the back section called Comprehensive Bible Helps, which again, that begins on page 1503, allow this Bible to be adapted to all types of study and presentations. For example, we could consult the note on the topical treasury, which is topic number 4305 in the red text there and begins on page 1969 in the back of the Thompson. The Thompson Chain Reference Bible's exhaustive features and practical helps make it a virtual mini library. It is designed for individual and group study, for young and old alike, whether it is used for devotional reading, teaching children, preparation of Sunday school material, preaching, or for any other Bible study aims. Students who love God's Word will find this Bible easy to use and ready to bring a deepened understanding to spiritual truth. So that is the Thompson Chain. 8,000 topical listings, 100,000 marginal references. We're going to take an in-depth look at how those work and then also even compare the updated Thompson to the old one. We see understanding the margins, indexes, and other Bible helps, which is the meat and potatoes of the Thompson chain. Number one, margins. The information contained in the margins is key to the effective use of this Bible. We'll read that again. It's so important. The information contained in the margins is key to the effective use of this Bible, which is the Thompson chain. Topic titles found alongside a verse represent the primary themes found within that verse. For example, the most important topics found in Psalm 23.1 are God's sheep, Christ's shepherd, and providence. Each topic has been assigned a unique number called the topic number. A, the topic number, each of the more than 8,000 topics in the Thompson Chain Reference Bible has its own unique number. And that number is always going to appear in a red font in the margin, by the way. And down here, knowing the topic number, the student can find all the references associated with its related topic by referring to the numerical index of topics on page 1537. So the suggested sample text from Understanding the Margins Indexes and Other Bible Helps was Psalm 23. We're seeing the full overhead shot here of Psalm 22 through Psalm 25, actually, pages 700 to 701. We're seeing some topical subheadings, praise and worship uh, the Lord, uh, the fear of the Lord. Uh, we're seeing those also included in the text here. Uh, and again, look at the margins, inside margin and the outside margins, that key phrase, the information contained in the margins is key to the effective use of the Bible. Let's look down here at Psalm 23. So Psalm 23, 1 and 2, the Lord is my shepherd, a Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. These numbers in the margin, these red numbers are the topic numbers that we just read about there, A, the topic number, and how to understand the margins. Remember, the suggested topics also in that section, 3264, Christ Shepherd, uh, God Sheep, which is 3266, and then Providence, which is 2905 there in the margin. So those are the topic numbers, very easily identified here in red, just like 7 Attitudes 3242. Slightly down the page, we see B, the chain verses in the numerical index of topics, again, starting on page 1537. A topic may cite tens or even hundreds of biblical references. From the, from the complete list of references offered, selected ones are highlighted in bold print. 
These key verses are known as chain verses. They were distinguished by Dr. Thompson because he considered them to be the primary text of the topic. That is, if a person wished to understand the overall emphasis of a topic from Genesis to Revelation without reading every biblical verse, this system is known as the Thompson Study System. The chain verses may be followed from beginning to end within the margins using the forward reference system. Back at the Psalm 23 example, the chain verses and forward references we're seeing out in the margin here next to David 919 as the topic number saying that if you looked in the numerical index or alphabetical index for number 919, you'd see the topic of David. That is the reference there, the 51, 1 through 19. On Christ Shepherd, past the 3264 topic number, used to be called the pilot number in the old Thompson chain, but the topic number, you see a 232. Whenever you just see 232, no, no abbreviated book name, you know that that's referring to the same book, and in this case, the same chapter. So the next reference for Christ Shepherd of Psalm 23, 1, we know on the same page is Psalm 23, 2. Here for God's sheep, the 3266 topic number, the next reference, that's a 74 one. 74 one would be Psalm 74 one. That is the chain reference. So on topic number 3264, Christ Shepherd from Psalm 23 one. Again, these are those, when it talks about the chain verses, number one is the general references. So that's the entire list of references. But again, the specific ones, the specific chain references are only going to be the ones appearing in the bold red. So Psalm 23, 1, Psalm 23, 2, Isaiah 40, 11. There is John 10, 11, Hebrews 13, 20, 1 Peter 2, 25, 1 Peter 5, 4, and Revelation 7, 17. So there's the entire list of general references if you wanted to follow every single verse about that topic. But if you want to follow just what's called the Thompson Study System, it's just those chain verses that appear in red, which you're going to see also some of those appear here uh, below this section on the topic number 3264. The chain verses may be followed from beginning to end within the margins using the forward reference system. The forward reference system there in C is the reference cited within the topic and the margin indicates the next text of the chain. When topics are found with no forward reference, the student knows that while the particular verse contains the topic, it has not been included within the chain. To discover the first verse of the chain, as well as all other verses related to a certain topic, one should consult the numerical index of topics, again, starting on page 1537, the first verse of the chain is also indicated within the margin with this symbol that looks like this forward facing triangle uh, or almost like the tip of an arrow. And then the last verse is denoted, denoted by the square symbol, that solid block square at the end. So chain verses, the bold ones indicate the Thompson study system. The forward reference, the first verse in the chain has that triangle. And then the last verse is going to have that square or block symbol. The forward reference, the first reference in the chain, is indicated by this little forward-facing arrow or triangle there. Um, the one next to Christ Shepherd, the one next to God Sheep, and the one next to Seven Attitudes. So it's saying that that's going to be the first verse in the chain, and you should follow that until you see the square symbol, the squared symbol in the margin. So back at topic number 3264, Christ Shepherd, the forward reference, again, you remember it started in Psalm 23. Hence the first one that appears in red there under the general references. That is where our triangle or arrowhead symbol in the margin indicated that that was the first verse of the chain and the forward reference. And then Revelation 717, that is where the block or square symbol appeared, indicating that was the last verse of the forward reference. It all makes sense and is tied together and works together with the Thompson study system. And you can see the examples of that here in the numerical index and those topic numbers. D parallel passages indicated in the margin of the abbreviation PP. These supplemental verses do not form part of the chain, but they do provide additional insight. And Psalm 23 3 is an example. The Psalm 23 3 example. Psalm 23 3 He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. There is that PP out in the margin for parallel passage, supplemental verse, not part of the chain, but still provides insight. 
And the parallel passage it tells us to look at is Psalm 31, 3. So Psalm 31, in Psalm 31, verse 3, For thou art my rock and my fortress, therefore for thy name's sake lead me and guide me. Yes, very similar sounding to the Psalm 23, 3. He restoreth my soul, he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness first. So that's the example of the PP or parallel passage. Uh, notice that there is no parallel passage here on there. Instead, there's only the topic number, God a rock, 3178, God a fortress, 368. Uh, similar verses and potentially using that as a parallel passage to get you to follow some of those other chains and other topic numbers, um, even though it's not a part of the main theme of God's sheep and the other stuff that's going on in Psalm 23.3. That's the example of the PP parallel passage. E, a number in parentheses, to the right of the marginal topic, refers to a subdivision of the topic, a complete listing of the various subdivisions of a given topic, as found in the numerical index of topics. See Psalm 23, 1 and 2, where Christ's shepherd, with the one in parentheses, is found. Note this is an independent topic, and thus possesses its own unique topic number. So page 1537, at the back of the Thompson, is that numerical index of topics that we keep hearing about. Page 1537, we keep hearing about. This is where you find the topics and the topic numbers from the marginal study system. And here in the 3200s of the numerical index, we're seeing 3262 all the way through 3297. And the numerical index is when, where we see one of the examples of that number in parentheses. Here on the 3264 topic number, Christ Shepherd, there is the one in parentheses after M, which stands for marginal reference of Christ as shepherd. See, there's a second example here on topic 3265, Christ as shepherd with the two in parentheses. Uh, that's also Christ as shepherd as guardian of the flock versus just the general references. Down here, 3266, topic number, Christ as shepherd three as God's sheep. Uh, 3267, 3267, Christ the shepherd four sinners regarded as lost sheep. But the point is that number in parentheses to the right of a marginal topic refers to its subdivision of the topic. So that is the subdivision there of one of Christ Shepherd, the subdivision of two Christ Shepherd. Uh, this is an independent topic and possesses its own unique topic numbers, those numbers 3264 and 3265. Next on understanding the margins, indexes, and other Bible helps. There's a second page, the second page to understanding the margins, indexes, and the other Bible helps. We're going to read about the two indexes and three other Bible helps. On number two indexes, another key phrase on understanding the Thompson chain says understanding the indexes is foundational to effective use of the KJV Thompson chain reference study Bible. Remember, we already read about the importance of the margins. The information contained in the margins is key to effective use of this Bible. Well, also we know that the indexes, that is part of the foundation, margins and indexes. What is in the margins? Topic numbers. And then what do they refer to? They refer to these two indexes, the alphabetical index of topics and the numerical index of topics. You have to know what to look for in the margin. That tells you the number, but then you have to know what to do with that number. That what you do with that number is look it up in the alphabetical index of topics or the numerical index of topics. It's really simple once you grasp those two key things. A, or the first of the two indexes, is the alphabetical index of topics, which used to be the general index, by the way, which states that if you want to locate a specific topic number when the topic number is not known, you can use this helpful index, i.e., you did not find it or could not find it in the marginal references, the key to the Thompson chain, so you just instead want to go straight to this alphabetical index to look up angels, faith, etc., then that is where you're going to go and look for that topic number in the alphabetical index. And the topic number, just like in the marginal reference system, is always going to be in a red font, by the way. And here at page 1506, we see that alphabetical index of topics.
So again, what used to be the general index, now the alphabetical index of topics in the updated Thompson chain. So when you want to find a specific topic, alphabetical index provides complete alphabetical listing of all numbered topics found in the margins and in the numerical index of topics. Many of the topics listed are subjects and events that are mentioned within charts, maps, and articles. All numbers refer to names, topics, charts, and place names in the numerical index of topics. So again, all roads lead to Rome. Really what you're, what you're finding here, if you see the first example, Aaron, A is one. Uh, you see over here, adorning, physical adorning, 43 through 50. Mo notice that most indexes and most Bibles, they're gonna go ahead and give you the reference in the scripture to look up, but not so. The point of this alphabetical index is to help you find that topic number, the topic number, which then lets you find that topic in the numerical index of topics. So the whole point of this alphabetical index is to help you find topic numbers that you can then find in the numerical index of topics, which you can then find in the marginal reference system of the Thompson chain. In the second paragraph, this alphabetical index of topics will be helpful in finding many of these subtopics in the numerical index of topics, which is arranged numerically. For example, most of the subjects relating to marriage in the numerical index of topics are found under home. That's the topic home. So the reader might not to think of, to look there. They might, if you go straight to the numerical index looking for marriage under the M's, you're not going to find it, but you would be able to find that the marriage under M in the alphabetical index, which would then tell you, hey, look for the topic of home and the topic of home in the numerical index. So that's the power and the usefulness of this alphabetical index. And in the final paragraph, it reminds you, if you ever get lost or ever need a little more information or a better or a more complete explanation on how to use this, turn to pages 7 through 13 at the front of this Bible, the Roman numeral 7 through 13, and this overview provides more detail about using this alphabetical index of topics. So some of the same information we've already been reviewing, it sends you back there when you're using this uh, to find more of what you need on the alphabetical index, numerical index, how to use the Thompson chain, etc. B, or the second of the two indexes, is the numerical index of topics. That used to be the condensed cyclopedia of topics and text, by the way. Numerical index, much, much simpler, we think. And make no mistake, this is the real secret sauce of the Thompson chain, and what separates it from any other Bible is this numerical index. And you see that when you know the particular topic number that you want to study, either that you found from the alphabetical index of topics, i.e. when you didn't know it, or from within the margin, i.e. you were reading along and you saw that topic number in the marginal system uh, next to the scripture that you were reading. Then you can use this index to locate all the Bible verses that are cited under a given topic. You find the first chain verse, you can follow the forward reference system and tracing these things, and that's how the text can be studied thoroughly. Um, that really is it. That is, I mean, the, again, the general index is now the alphabetical index, and the condensed cyclopedia of topics and text is now the numerical index of topics. Man, that is much, much simpler. Uh, alphabetical equals letters, A, B, C, D, helps you look up the topic number, and then numerical equals numbers, one, two, three, four, five, or in our case, 3266. You follow that number, you find that number, um, and you know how to study and find the verses related to that topic. So page 1537 at the back of the Thompson, is that numerical index of topics that we keep hearing about. Page 1537, we keep hearing about. This is where you find the topics and the topic numbers from the marginal study system. Then number three, other Bible helps, includes Bible character studies and Bible harmonies and illustrated studies. Bible character studies tells you specifically these are the topic numbers 4286 through 4297 that they highlight major Old Testament heroes such as Noah, David, Daniel, etc. And then prominent Bible characters starting with topic number 4298 also classified with the meanings of their names. Uh, and then also the Bible harmonies you're going to see. Uh, you can read about the lives of Moses, Jesus, and Paul. Uh, contrast between the Old and New Testaments and also the KJV concordance is going to appear in that section. 
the other Bible help sections, Bible character studies, brings us here to topic number 4286, that's page 1904. This is all the way past the alphabetical index and the numerical index. We see character studies, Noah the Ark Builder, 4287, Abraham the Spiritual Pilgrim, really nice rendering of Noah's Ark at the bottom of the page there, by the way. Jacob the Supplanter, Joshua the Soldier of the Lord, Gideon the Mighty Man of Valor, Samuel the Upright Judge, and David the Greatest of the Kings of Israel and prominent characters classified with the meaning of their names. So prominent men of the Old Testament, the first one listed was going to be Enoch, which is dedicated, or the man who walked faithfully with God. On to the next page, prominent women of the Old Testament, followed by prominent men of the New Testament, prominent women of the New Testament, and then gets into the outline history of the Apostles. The Bible Harmonies and Illustrated Studies begins on page 1923. That was B of the other Bible helps. So you get the journeys of Abraham, an overview of Moses' life, skipping past the journeys of Joshua, David, and Solomon, we get to the overview of Jesus' life and the harmony of the Gospels. The overview of Jesus' life and the life of Christ. It keeps going from Jesus in the year of inauguration all the way to Jesus in his last months and last days, even down to Jesus in his last hours upon the cross and Jesus' post-resurrection appearances. All of that before you get to the overview of Paul's life. J comes before P alphabetically, so you're getting Jesus' life before Paul's life, including his early life and missionary journeys. Paul's missionary journeys continued. The third missionary journey culminating in Paul's voyage to Rome. The harmonies and illustrated studies keep going with the outline history of the early church, distances and miles between Old Testament cities, and the topical treasury. The topical treasury is suggested topics for Christian workers and church workers, such as prayer and devotional meetings, youth meetings, men's meetings, women's and children's meetings, on the way down to evangelistic meetings. The Christian workers' texts, such as for verses to use with unconverted who make excuses. A memory verse for all 66 books of the Bible, as well as aids to memorization. Places of religious worship and religious leaders, such as the tabernacle and then the Temple of Solomon. A chart on Hebrew times, seasons, and festivals, and all of that before you get to the KJV Concordance, which is listed alphabetically and does take you to actual scripture verse references for those topics, unlike the alphabetical index, which sends you to the numerical index of topics. You roll through about a 60-page KJV Concordance, which, mind you, is separate from and in addition to the 8,000 topics and 100,000 references before you get to the list of 13 maps and the color map index. 10 very detailed pages of map index later and you get to the line section for notes. You get about nine pages if you count front and back of ruled note paper. Then you get the note about the type, which is the 2K Denmark designed comfort print type. Then we get to our first full color map. Map 12 for the Roman Empire. You've got map 13 for the Apostles' early travels. Then you hit the end paper and you have come to the end of the KJV Thompson Chain Reference Bible. After understanding the margins, indexes, and other Bible helps, we get to the abbreviations and special markings section. The most common of which are going to be the CH and CHS for chapters, V for verses. We already saw PP as an example of a parallel passage. We know that triangle or arrowhead marking is first chain verse. And then the square or block marking is going to be the end of a chain. M is important as a margin entry, since again, the margins are the key to this Bible. ARAB period is Arabic. ARAM period is Aramaic. H-E-B period is Hebrew, G-R is Greek, T-R stands for Texas Receptus or Received Text. Past the introductory features of the KJV Thompson chain, such as the original introduction, the explanations of the indexes, margins, and special helps in the Bible, and still long before you even get to Genesis, the first book of the Bible, 
you just now come to this special section on how to use the Thompson Chains Reference Bible. And this is perhaps one of the most outstanding features of the KJV Thompson Chain is that it's this extensive topical system known as the Topic Study System. And the main thing here is, I don't really know a whole lot of other Bibles, uh, maybe the Schofield, some others, that actually teach you how to study and use their Bible. And this is certainly one of them, and, and this probably is the most in-depth that um, if you ever get confused or you really want to know, okay, look, you understand this is what the marginal things do. Um, you know, num number one being the, the topic numbers, the chain verses, the first verse in the chain, the parallel passages, all the harmonies and illustrations at the back. But then how do I really use them? Well, then this is where you can come. You can come to how to use the Thompson Chain Reference Bible here in Roman numerals 7 and 8. Uh, it talks about to study a theme uh, that you can, you basically need to find the initial verse of the chain, uh, knowing the topic number from the margin or the alphabetical index, then helps you find the first forward reference in and verse in that chain. Um, to study specific books, you can look at the uh, basically the analysis of the books, which that's now the book introductions at the beginning of every book, such as Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, etc. That's where we're going to see information about the author of the book, the date it was written, the purpose, to whom it was written, the main theme, keywords, key verses, and synopsis, prominent people, and then even the major chains in that book. And then also to study a specific chapter um, that, again, the red print and the margins and some of the concise textual subheadings and running heads, they help to summarize the content of the Bible. Then if you want to study a specific passage or a verse, important topics found within each verse are located in the margin directly opposite the corresponding idea in the verse. These illuminate the meaning of the verse. And then finally, to study Bible personalities. That is going to be in topic numbers 4286 to 4297 at the back, uh, the last part behind the numerical index. And that's going to provide the basis for hours of in-depth study for those who wish to enter uh, uh, God's Word to the lives of heroic men and women in the Bible. All of this you can review, and this appears in your Thompson chain before you even get to the first book of Genesis. Uh, these are powerful tools that you can consult and use anytime you get confused or you need a refresher or something like that. You just go back to the beginning of the Bible here, and you can learn what those things mean, and this will help you get the most out of your Thompson chain.